Silence. That's enough yammering from you lot. Welcome back to another magical year at Hogwarts. As you're all aware, the muggle-born COVID pandemic has become so widespread that we in the wizarding world can no longer ignore it. As such, we are taking a note from the muggles and moving all our classes online this year. A terrible, terrible inconvenience, I'm aware, but we all must find a way to cope. Oh, uh, what potion is that, Professor? A tequila sunrise, Miss Granger. A very advanced concoction. Uh, Professor, why can't we just use magic to get rid of the virus? Because, Mr. Longbottom, the logic of the wizarding world is held together by duct tape and begins to unravel at the slightest bit of scrutiny. I mean, we loan out incredibly powerful time travel devices to 13-year-olds so they can take extra classes. Nothing makes any sense and you'd be better off if you didn't think about it anyway. I will be your defense against the dark arts professor this year. I'm here! I'm here! Hello! Well, well, Mr. Potter. So very kind of you to fit us into your busy schedule. I'm sorry, everyone. The Wi-Fi is really bad under the stairs, and it just it took me ages to connect. The Dursley's got you back under the stairs, mate. Yeah. Uh, they said they didn't want to take any chances, so I've been locked in here since March. If you're quite finished with the pleasantries, Mr. Potter, I do have a class to teach. Pah! Figures you'd let your muggle family treat you like dirt, Potter. After all, you're nothing but a filthy mug. And that's about enough out of you, Mr. Malfoy. As a reminder to everyone, there are no racial slurs in this class. It's 2020. Get woke. Whoa! Did you use a silencing spell on him, Professor? What? No, Mr. Weasley, I muted him. I have admin privileges. God, you're thick. Oh, Ronald, while there is such a thing as a silencio charm, Given the physical distance between the Professor and Draco, there's no possible way it would have any effect on him. And, Miss Granger, that know-it-all remark just cost you ten points from Gryffindor. Are you kidding? Let's make it fifteen, shall we? Wait, are we still doing the House Cup this year? I mean, it seems kind of pointless since we're not living together and Quidditch is cancelled. As a Hufflepuff, I really don't think you need to worry too much about the House Cup. <laughs> 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 All right, everyone. I believe we've wasted quite enough time. Wands at the ready. I will now be showing you the Blasting Curse Confringo, which should only be used as self-defense in the most extreme situations. Watch my movements carefully. The slightest variation on this spell Confringo! Could, cause... could cause exactly what happened to Mr. Longbottom. Great, wonderful. We are three minutes into the new semester and we already have an injury. Normally, I would tell you to go to the hospital wing, but our headmaster has not come up with a protocol for this kind of situation, so walk it off, I guess. Uh, I could kill Dumbledore for this. Is he going to be okay, Professor? I'm sure he'll be fine. Everyone, wands at the ready, and this time, follow my movements exactly. <laughs> Mr. Potter. Would you care to share whatever it is you find so much more interesting than my lesson? Oh, uh, it's nothing, Professor. I was just sending a quick message to Ginny. We were talking about, you know, school stuff. Really? Well, let's take a look using a screen share, shall we? No, 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 no! <laughs> my, my, Mr. Potter. What a spicy DM. <laughs> Looks like Harry Potter is giving a new meaning to the term student body. <laughs> Voldemort. Oh, for God's sakes, of course you'd be the one to show up and zoom bomb my class. Where's my sunrise? Too scared to come face me in person, are you? Well, my dear boy, you can't be too careful these days. I mean, sure, I have my horcruxes, but who knows how the virus might affect them. Uh, wait. What's a horcrux? Nothing, uh, nothing. That, uh, that definitely doesn't concern you. Don't look it up. Okay, let's get a move on. What's your big plan, then? Well, Harry, I might not be able to kill you right now, but at least I can stop you from reaching your full potential. Now prepare to endure pain worse 
and the Cruciatus curse. No, 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 make it stop. Oh my god, it's awful. <laughs> Please make it stop. I actually kind of like it. Get used to it, Harry. Because this is the only sound you'll be hearing for the rest of the school year. Oh god, it's the perfect plan! I bet you've even lost your IP address so we can't find you! I'm sorry, mess my what now? Wait. Oh my god, he actually didn't. Oh, found him. Uh, Professor, he's hiding out at Malfoy Manor. Shocking. Uh, what? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, you're breaking up. I'm going through a tunnel right now. Bye. Phew. Saved it. He didn't even log off, he just turned off his camera. <laughs> wow, he is really bad at this. An excellent discovery, Mr. Potter. I am sending a squad of auras to Malfoy Manor as we speak. Hmm, I wonder if the new episode of 90 Day Fiancé is streaming yet. Voldemort, you're under arrest. Oh, s***! Petrificus Totalis! Oh, why didn't I listen to that bloody VPN commercial? Target down. Returning to the Ministry. Well done, Mr. Potter. Well done. Your rudimentary grasp of muggle technology has apparently saved us all. You know, it has been a pretty terrible year so far. But maybe, just maybe, things are starting to look up for a change. Uh, uh, hold that thought. I've just received a DM from the Ministry. Apparently, Voldemort has escaped custody and is on a murderous rampage throughout London. Oh, and also Dumbledore is dead. Oh, f 2020!